How did you get into the music video industry side of things? Um, How did you home. start? I was at home, bored, looking for something to do, and I um, ran across Windows Movie Maker and just tried to put some stuff together. I had my little sister record me um, rapping, like, I think the first song was, like, Soldier Boy or either Drake. And uh, that was my way of just taking footage. She recorded me around the house, playing with money, driving my brother Range Rover. And um, that was my way of chopping up stuff and learning how to edit. So I put it on like MySpace. Like I was one of the first people to do the cartoon, do the crank that Soldier Boy. I had SpongeBob. Like it was to the point where I didn't even know how to mute the SpongeBob clips. So you could actually hear a SpongeBob still talking in the background. And I got hundreds of thousands of views and I just kept you know, just kept going from there until somebody actually hit me up to do a music video. And it just went from there. I uh, shot a video for my homie Rello, and that was like the first music video I ever did, him and my homie uh, Sean Black. And once people at school saw it, everybody just started to ask, and like, yo, how, how you do that, ooh? And then once the first person asked me how much you charge for a video, I just kept going from there once I saw I could get paid from it. So that was about... 2009 when I did that, but I didn't really start taking it serious till like after high school when I graduated 2010. Ah, I see. Uh, your first music video, how much did you charge back then? My first video, I actually did it for free because like I didn't know what to charge. I've never shot a video and it was my homie, so it was like I was with them all the time. So it was just like, we got a song shoot us a video, and then my homie that I shot the video for, he, it was his camera I used, so I couldn't really charge by using mm. his camera. But people had asked after that. Yeah, yeah, people much? asked, uh, I charged like $50. It was like $50, for like, I didn't know what to say. I'm $50 for somebody just in high school, that was a lot, because I really had no bills, so it was just really going to my gas tank. So you learned just by experimenting? Yeah, I taught myself everything. Never went to, uh, School of film or film school or anything? No, I tried, um, I tried to go to college for the first year after high school. I tried to uh, go to the Art Institute. I enrolled for the first year. It's the only reason I went because they said, oh, yeah, we're going to start you off with classes in your major. So I'm thinking I'm going right in editing videos. I was in coloring classes and all. I'm like, oh, yeah, I'm not coming back to this. And I never went back. So I didn't even get to edit nothing. I was in red, blue, make purple classes, like, so I left, never went back. You quit. Yep. <laughs> now, how long have you been in it at this point for? Uh, Seriously uh, directing music videos for at this point? Seven, eight years. Seriously, yep. And um, how did you get popular? Um, around the time... It was just, I was doing videos in Chicago, and um, I went to grammar school with Dirt. So it was like we knew each other before, you know, the rap all came a place. But I was shooting videos in Chicago, and then once everybody started to see I was shooting videos, I just linked up with Dirk and Keith and Fredo. Like this time, around this time, everybody was talking on Facebook. So Fredo or, or Risa hit me on Facebook, like, let's shoot something, let's shoot something. And then I just got to shooting everybody in Chicago that was popping at one time, like, and that's how it just took off from there. Was it a particular video mm, that no. really got you popular or would be your claim to fame at, around that time? Not for real, because the, the, the popular, popular videos, like, don't like uh, of Kiva, I didn't even shoot those. So I can't even say, like, I had one video, like, I was literally shooting for like 10 plus artists that was all popping in Chicago like at the same time, like around the movement. It was like every video that basically came out from Chicago, it was basically me, put it like that. So that's how every, my name was just over everything. Like every time you went to World Star, I had a video on that. Why didn't you shoot Don't Like? What's crazy, I was actually there to shoot it. Me and D-Games was gonna collab on it, but our camera settings was different and the lighting wasn't right on our cameras. So he ended up doing it and I was just getting just behind the scenes and I just put up the behind the scenes, but I was actually there and we were supposed to collab on the video, but he just, I just let him do it. Mm. 
Did you think that video was going to do what it was going to do? No, nah, nobody knew it was going to do that. Surprised. Yeah, so when we put it out, we just did what it did. It just, just went up and just went up from there.